Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a shaker card which is perfect for spring. I'm going to use this waffle flower stamp set and this is called Springtime. There are also matching dies for this stamp set and if you get both of them as a combo then they send them in this uh, very convenient envelope that has uh, two pockets actually so you can store both the stamps and uh, the dies. I'm going to start by doing some inking. For that I will use this Distress uh, Blending Brush by Tim Holtz, but of course you can use your good old uh, mini blending tool. I'm applying Distress Oxide ink and that's uh, Broken China and uh, I love the brush just because it gives you a very subtle look. I used two rectangle dies, one inside the other, to cut out this white frame and now I'm sticking on top of that my acetate. The acetate that I'm using is actually by Tonic Studios, it's nice and sturdy. But of course you can uh, reuse some uh, acetate from packaging. Now to create my shaker card I'm going to go all around the frame and stick some foam tape. Inside my window I'm going to add some sequins and I chose to go with uh, blue just because I want to match the color of the sky. I'm adding all of uh, these uh, sequins with my craft spoon by Tonic Studios which I find very handy. And I'm going to cover up the window with this paper that I prepared earlier. And now all the sequins are nicely secured inside. And now it's time to do some stamping. I picked uh, lots of images from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp everything with black ink. This is extreme black ink by my favorite things which is perfect if you want to work with alcohol markers. And since I wanted to stamp uh, a bunch of uh, images at one time I went with my stamping platform. This is by Tim Holtz. Just to make sure that if I don't stamp something correctly, I can go ahead and do it one more time. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So although it looks perfect, I want to have a more vibrant black line. Now I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out everything and use my alcohol markers to color in the images. I have all the cutouts ready to go and now it's time to assemble my card. So I'm going to place all things on top of my uh, card and uh, just create a little scene there. Now if you take a closer look on these shapes that I'm uh, sticking down, this could easily mm, be used as clouds. But uh, you can also use them as bushes, so it depends on what you want to create. I am using some foam squares at the back of the bunny, but for all the rest of the cutouts I'm going to use tape adhesive at the back. Now as the card is now, there is no space to add the sentiment, so either you have to cut out a, a word as a sentiment or just stamp a sentiment on a strip of paper and stick it on top of your shaker card. Or another uh, option is to stamp the sentiment before you put everything together on top of that sky where I have all that empty space. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with this card, if it's going to be a birthday card or a hello card for spring, so I decided not to stamp anything at the front. Instead, when I decide what I want to do with it, I will stamp my sentiment on the inside of the card. Plus it looks awesome as it is, so I didn't want to add anything on top. Now I'm going to stick this on top of a standard card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, and I do have a booboo up there. There is a smudge up there which I'm going to scratch with my craft knife and you will never know it was there. And you can easily turn this uh, spring card into an Easter card if you stamp a couple of uh, eggs and just tuck them behind those bushes. All the images in this stamp set are so cute. You will find links down below to everything I used today. I will be back tomorrow with a really fun event and lots of giveaways, so stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.